Yeah, well, as to the uh, film version, um, all right, I got to remember to look at the, uh, the camera here. As to the film version, I mean, look what happened to that poor bastard, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Seems like a nice guy, very intelligent guy, good actor. They stick a little green ring on his finger, and everything in the film turns green. Everybody knows, I think, that green is the color most conducive to people confessing. So here we have this supernatural, rather, superhero artifact in which the protagonist is running around forcing a kind of confession upon inanimate and animate objects and in a sense upon us because we're bathed in that green light sitting in the dark together as strangers. Anyway, if we do the film version, or rather I should say when we do the film version of uh, Big Man, my guess is that the best way to go at it is via something like uh, Legette, Chris Markers. Markers? Is Marker, right? Not Marquet. Anyway, that great French, you know, avant-garde film where he essentially uses a series of stills. You know, hell with CGI. We don't need CGI. We need any of that crap. We need good acting. And we need some great still photography to communicate the kind of awe that, uh, that the big man represents. And is it Marker or Marquet? What? Le or La Jet? Jet or Jeté? I mean, come on. You people are supposed to be the ones that are the experts at this. I'm just a fucking author, for Christ's sakes. Making up the uh, second flat iron here in Boulder, Colorado. It's headquarters of Searage Press, of course, where the publishers insisted that I hike up to the top of the second flat iron. Man, let me tell you something. I am going to kick their fucking ass when I see them. Because this, this is too much like work. I just uh, finished the... Uh, baby rock scramble, but uh, before I did, the Steerage Press film crew consisting of, uh, what is it, three? Three iPhones. I had to take five, ten minutes to set up. Let's get a shot of this uh, scramble if we can, okay? See it here? Yeah, iPhones are no good at picking up uh, elevation, I know. Well, anyway, this is what you call one chicken shit operation. Yeah, this is what uh, you call one chicken shit operation, all right, but uh, maybe if this iPhone can pick it up, you can see some climbers up there. Can you see them? I'm not sure you can. These iPhones suck. Anyway, they're uh, climbing the first flat iron with ropes, as it should be, although some people solo it. Now, those people, those people know what they're doing. So here we are at the uh, top of the flat iron. I'm trying to keep my voice down because there are other people up here with me. Uh, why don't you guys scan over to the mountains? Can you see the mountains? Right, no, you probably can't, right? Okay, great. Anyway, uh, listen, I just thought that I had uh, to tell Ryan Reynolds. I know we don't know each other, but I had to tell him one more thing because at uh, the very least I hope to be speaking to his fans. First, Ryan, I don't have a part for you in this movie. I wish I did because I think you're witty and clever and you seem like a nice guy. It'd be great to work with you. That's A, B, uh, I saw an interview with you where you were talking about uh, crossing the uh, United States on a motorcycle. Listen, man, I'd give that one up. The hell with uh, Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman and uh, Easy Rider and uh, Tulane Blacktop on the road. Even Persic Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Man, this book I still love. The hell with La Strada, the hell with all of it. What the road in this country in the U.S. means today is a misery of traffic, potholes, and asshole drivers. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't want to rain on your parade, and I take to heart uh, whatever it was Jane Fonda said about crossing the United States and uh, becoming a radical revolutionary, whatever. I mean, Martin Scorsese ain't got nothing on me, let me tell you. But anyway, give it up, man. Uh, and uh, if you get a chance, though, read my book, available at Amazon, $9.99, Kindle, $0.99, cents. Uh, Big Man with a Shovel by Joe Amato. Um, I think you'll like the book. Okay, is that, is that all right? You guys? Yeah. They told me to add that last part. Yeah, and I, uh, I made it up here in, uh, I think it was uh, 45, 45, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 50 minutes, 50 minutes, that ain't bad, right? What the hell? The uh, film crew, if they could uh, throw a bonus shot in of the uh, third flat iron, 
And for those of you who have never uh, seen a flat iron, here's what they really look like. I hope, uh, hope this iPhone uh, picks it up. All right, that's a pretty good shot, I think. Yeah, I still think that, uh, well, call me an old-fashioned modernist, but I still think books can attain something like the status of that piece of fucking rock right there. I take that back. That, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I can appreciate the uh, sublime and all of that, but uh, that's just me uh, blathering on about the sublime. Never mind. Yeah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? What? What do you mean it's too conceptual? Uh, what the part about? You mean the part about? Uh, forcing a confession? What, what, what the fuck with these people? I mean, look, you motherfuckers had me hike all the way to the top of that fucking flat iron. You had me hike up there, right? Right. And I'm not hiking up there again. And I can't help it if the nitwits who are putting this together don't think it'll help sell the idea for the movie, which of course it will, and it will be a lot better than giving free copies of my fucking books away to my friends. This small press shit's got to stop, man. Huh? It's not my fault you haven't read uh, Dun Scotus or what... Dun... Never mind, okay? It's not my fault that you don't know anything about essences and figurative speech and allegory and uh, what Green Lantern really represents. Jesus Christ Almighty, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds would understand this. Why did you call Ryan Reynolds? He'll understand it. I know, I, we, look, I know we don't have a part for the guy, but call him, will you? He'll understand what we're doing here.